What is going on guys? Today we are looking at 93 Zico. He's got a 91, he's got a 92, and now we've got a 93 double play star plus 5 star 5 star Zico. He is currently coming in at 11.4 million. Very expensive. He has got dead ball and also technical. Whether you'd class that as kind of the best play style pluses, I don't know. He has got the positions of cam, center forward, or center mid, so a decent variety to put him in. But realistically, he's got to be somebody in that really attacking zone. He's not got the defensive side of him. Physicality is non-existent, but everything else is amazing. Great pace. Great shooting, great passing, great dribbling. Everything is above board. We've got six play style pluses. Well, six play styles on him, in fact. Play style pluses, that would be good. Incisive, Tiki Taka, Flair, Traveller, and then the play style pluses of Technical and also the Dead Ball. Whether you want a Dead Ball in your team, if you've already got one, then that could sway you. Whether you was debating whether to give in 11.4 million for him is down to you. But in terms of the card, he's always going to be a decent one. I'm interested to see how decent. Does he compare to the 96 Zidane is the big question. Are you looking for gift cards, game keys, and more? Head over to U7Buy for a variety of cards you can get today. From PSN, Steam, all the way to Xbox. With huge amounts of price variations, check the link in the description for cheap, reliable, digital cards for you right now. Great ball out. Looking for that 1-2 with him. Decent ball into push gas. He's got to be. It's got to be. Is he not bringing the keeper out? I'm, I don't know why it took me a second to realize that then, but what on earth was he doing? Brings it back into Zico. Oh, lovely. Step him again. Get up, get up, get up. Oh, I just wanted Zico to get it. Nice. Little, little flap onto it. And again, going for the... Oh, I wanted to go the inside. Still managed to keep hold of the ball, honestly. This is a literal game of how many times can I lose it but keep it. It's got to be the right foot. It's a decent shot on him. I'm interested to see where the shooting's all about. Because the big comparison here that we're going to have is... Is he worth going for the 91? Obviously being an SBC. Or is it better off just trying to go and pack this one? Because it, everything's better new, surely. Keep running off him. Get the ball. I'm surprised he didn't get something like a trickster, to be honest. The dead ball. I, I don't know too much about Zico's actual career, so I don't know if it was a free kick taker or not, to be honest. But I'm assuming so if he's managed to get it, unless it's just a complete random one. But trickster with the five-star skiller, I would have more assumed, if anything. Just the fact that he's had it on the base as well. That is a great turn inside. Where is he? I need that attacking zone from him. I'm going to look for Beckham. Look for the one again. Go on the inside. Look for the left foot across. Stunning. And that is where the five-star weak foot always comes in handy. I must admit, I'm loving these future stars. This week, or yeah, this week, Team 2 has been a great addition. Some absolutely insane ones to try and get from the likes of, obviously, Arman Zidane. Zico himself is not necessarily obtainable very well. But then even like the, I say the slightly cheaper ones, the 2 mil Beckham is a beautiful upgrade. He is just monstrous as well. So it is a nice week for our future stars as we find him in here. Can we go across? It would have been a great build-up. Ooh, get the header. Okay, maybe not. Well, we've got pace on the defense. It's where it's going to be really let down in terms of if you wanted, like how I use Zidane. That's a great boy. Is he going across him? Yashin with a big hand. With someone like a Zidane, I'm almost able to play him as a center mid because... Even though I'm not asking him to defend heavily, he can still put in some numbers. That's a great goal. Whereas when it comes to Zico, I feel like he's defending and kind of just stature just really doesn't hold up very well at all. So you're kind of having to almost put him in that cam roll and just kind of hope for the best of it and maybe change your formation entirely. Whether you could put him in the center mid, I just don't think it really works that well. I tried it with his 91 and you can just tell a body type. It just doesn't, it doesn't work. Oh, that's a great ball. Uh, oh, we've got technical. Why am I not using any technical here? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Bang. Oh, 
He's got a lovely finish just inside, just outside the box. That is a Zico territory. It's just a Thunderstruck straight across, and there's not even a power shot on it. Very heavy on the attack. Can we find something? Bappe goes for the long ball, but doesn't manage to get him there. Oh, we're on the defense again. See how far he is. I've got him literally... Oh, that's a great... Oh, he should have done... What on earth is Yashin doing? I definitely uh, got him in that sort of cam roll way. He's got two center mids kind of backing him up in the midfield. So he doesn't really... Oh, Yashin doesn't have to come back too much. So that, I think, is working in his favor. Just always being an option to get out, which is nice. That's a lovely little cheeky ball. Honestly, he's going to look for that pass. No, he's not. Yashin's been unbelievable, keeping us in this massively. Where is he on the actual post here? Not there. Oh, he's on the edge, which is fine, because that's going to be where we get the out, really. Beautiful. And then there. That's where we want the out. Little one again. Mbappe. Oh, he's got held up, hasn't he? Of course he has. Ronaldinho into Zico. Run, run, bull roll, and slot. Hat-trick hero. Oh, there it is. Slot him in. Little, little dink. It's a great ball. We're not going to get the volley on that one. The only interesting part is, is he really going to be 11 mid? Like, I just, I don't know. I, I, I can see where the card's coming from in terms of him being brand new, all of that jazz. But I just can't see him being that expensive. Like, he's a good card. Don't get me wrong. But there's just, there's, there's no way that he's 11 million. I think at the minute, oh, okay, he's dropped down to eight and a half. So it must have been maybe someone purchased him. We'll have a look at that in a minute. But in terms of kind of the card, I just, I don't know. I don't see, I, I don't see over 10 million on him. To be honest, I don't see that on many cards, to be honest. How did I miss that? Sales history. What have we got him gone for? So he's gone for 6.7. So I thought that was his max. So it might just be a glitch there. It might I know 6.7 is his max. I assumed with the 11.4 being there, that's normally when there's an updated list. Hello. Mbappe. Where's Zico gone? I want the fourth. Oh, half time. Beautiful. But even then, I'd, I'd still say 6.7 is absolutely ridiculous in value. Like that, th there's just too many cards going for that amount. Like, no, nobody's got 6.7 to put into every position. It's just absolutely ludicrous. Even with how good he is, like, don't get me wrong, he is a phenomenal card. He feels nice. The balance on him is good. I just think this card is... It, look at this. The left stick is absolutely nuts. If you can get... You could easily get penalties off this guy. Very, very simply. He's just... It, it's just effortless to be able to dribble with him. You can just do whatever you want with him. It, it is just all about how good you are with him that, that kind of really makes it. So it is an interesting card to see when we go against the top players what can they do that i can't because i'm most definitely not going to be top of the top but i don't even want to see what that card can can achieve with a level of player like that oh he's having his little run through can we get him again can we get the little flick something stopping him here lovely on the inside oh bon matty oh get the first touch Oh, that's not a very good first touch. Coleman, Coleman taking taking the pace. That's just unbelievable. There's no way. Like, I don't even know what pace he's got. I, I guarantee it's nowhere near the level of Zico there. So we find him going for a little bit of flair if we can. Find him back. Can we find a finesse outside? I don't know if it was offside, but that would have been beautiful. That's what I mean. Shooting wise, outside the box is just incredible from him. Oh, it's an easy ball. It's gonna find. I was gonna say he's gonna find him back. Is that not a? I was gonna say is that not a free kick? Zico just running down the middle. I, I realised we've still got technical that I just don't, I don't use technical. I feel like he missed him. Yeah, he missed the offside there. I don't, I don't really use technical, and I think you could you can get away with it with the wing. I think sometimes there is positions where you should or could use it. But in the middle, I, I just, I don't know. I don't see the need for it unless I am going to play him more on that wing. Oh, get that touch. Do him. Oh, it's everybody's dream. Away from the keeper, but he gets enough. I feel like that's, that's everything we need. 
So if we are going into the overall then, so let's have a look. He is 8.1. So what I mean, this 6.7, I don't know if yeah, there's not one that's listed, so it must be bugged. He must be 6.7. I don't I don't see how he can be above his maximum if that's not updated yet. It it could be that it's already updated. We'll have to have a look on the market, but regardless, it puts him himself in a very top bracket. It's like like the prices of some cards like we have got multiple above 10 million now that that is just nuts to think already let alone i don't know if anybody of the higher rated is zero and i was gonna say i knew that it would go like that but say we go here so yeah so you got an mbappe at zero zidane's at zero obviously as well same as ronaldo just because they are completely extinct so you've even got cards that are above that as well that are literally in the 15 millions plus so when we look at Zico, he's going to put himself in the level of Timo Di Messi, Haaland, you've got then Putielis, R9, Ronaldinho. Is he as good? And I think, yes, at some extent, he's at an absolute high caliber. He's no, no question about it. The question is, is this going to be worth it? Because we still get the 5-5. Five five. We've still got the technical. Oh, we've got the dead ball. Again, as you saw, the technical for me is isn't that much of a, an extra bonus, really. You're looking at 1.1 for the SBC. Now, is two pace, two shooting, two passing, two dribbling all worth it? I don't even think the defending adds that much value as I don't think he still can play that almost center mid role. I think he's just too much of a smaller build. I think he's like 5'7 or 5'8 or something like that. I just don't think it works for him. So you're going to have to play him in a more forward role. And to be honest, if I'm spending nearly six to eight million coins on a card, I want him scoring goals if it's my first. So in terms of that, I think he's still better going for the 91 in terms of value of what you're getting back. I don't think anybody's worth eight mil. Yes, the card is phenomenal. He's new, fresh design, all of that. That's fair enough. But I just don't see the worth in spending coins of that caliber 100k even a million is understandable but when you're looking at five eight ten million coins not many people like personally i've never had that amount and amount of coins liquid i've probably had a club worth that and i've probably had a team worth that but in terms of actual coins like i have putielis I've never seen them coins. It's an untradeable card. You can get lucky with a player. So you could get very lucky in packing him untradeable. Then 100%. Like, why not? Why wouldn't you? But in terms of if you are looking to finish a card or go after a card, I'd probably stick with the 91 still. I don't see the technical, the extra little bit of stats really worth it. Even with his Centurions, it's really not that impressive an upgrade unless the double play star plus was phenomenal. Because he's already a 5-5, five five, there is no extra value to him other than a technical plus. And for me, that's not worth five to six million extra on top. Yes, he will go down, so we more than likely will see him drop. I don't know, what do the other icons get to? Roberto Carlos stayed about the same. Maldini eventually came onto the market, same as him. Even Rooney stayed at his 1.2, so really, there isn't that much to go down in terms of what you're actually getting. Like we've got Zidane at 9.5. I mean, I don't think, I think Zidane is absolutely light years away. They're both 5.5, five, yes, but Zidane's play style pluses are much, much better. The intercept only makes him more attractive in that zone. David Beckham now at 2.3, which is crazy, but Zico for me, a great card, great pace, great shooting. Dribbling is unreal. And as well as passing, passing's phenomenal as well. But if he was dead ball incisive, I could say maybe you could have that option. But really the technical, I would much rather go for one of these, keep the extra coins liquid and just have some fun with it. It's a great card, but definitely not worth the coins. He is just a good card in general. So let me know down below if you've managed to pack him, if you have, flex it down below. And if not, have you finished the 91? Let me know down below. Peace.